everybody. Welcome back to the Monkey Shine Lab. Today, of course, what it's all about is this uh, is this Maisto hauler and uh, GT40. Um, they finally went somewhere that I really cared to follow. So we're going to see what this sucker's all about. We're going to break it out on camera and um, it's uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a thing. But I kind of thought, well, you know, why don't we have a, uh, why don't we have a sort of an opening act for that? Because I've got a few things that I want to get into my case and get off my table here. Uh, because I've got a, um, it's kind of like tracks in a movie. You can see that we've had some takes already of this. Um, but. I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to uh, give a little close up of the camera and then I will do a ultimate flyby over things. So if you don't see what you like right away or you, the way you want to see it, hang on because there may be. And then um, after I get through a couple of these main lines and such, uh, I'm going to open up that Maisto and do a review. I have not really looked at it yet. It's in the box. You and I will see it for the first time at the same time, which is kind of exciting, isn't it? This is the uh, McLaren F1. Um, I've got probably, you know, a half a dozen cars here. So just hang tight and then we'll get to the Maisto. Um, but I did want to kind of pull these out and get them into my case. So, as usual, I'm going to kind of take a look at them, and then I'm going to give you my impressions and a close-up. And I will, you know, I will give you kind of a roll of the car. Um, but this is nice. They did all of the decal work, and um, the, the body is just, uh, it's very nice. I really like, I like uh, McLaren's are uh, the one sort of exotic uh, supercars and, and such that really kind of rev me up. And probably be, uh, because it looks a lot like the, the GT. So oh, ne <laughs> next, just to give you a look at the card and such, I'm going to break out this outlaw because I've got a bunch of... Uh, Porsches like this in my uh, in my collection box already, and I want to kind of get this one in with it. Um, looking at it, this is this is kind of what um, makes me wonder, you know, because this is such a classic paint job. It's a branded paint job, and so. What was the difference between getting a little decal work done on the McLaren versus getting it done on the Porsche? I don't know. Um, and it just seems to have no rhyme or reason either. It really does. Moving on to the uh, Skyline that I picked up the other day because of uh, Nas and Andre. This car just, Skylines now just sort of remind me of those guys. Um, it's so satisfying to just tear stuff off cars. I would recommend doing it. Just pick up a few main lines that um, that you like. Pick up a second one if you're if you're an impact collector. Just break a second one open and handle the car. Um, take a look at it all over take a look at the fenders and see if they're finished <laughs> this is the gmc cyclone uh again this is this is a beautiful truck and i'm not really a truck person um the but the paint the paint on it is just absolutely gorgeous iridescent sort of blue and with that silver on the bottom it really kicks off. It's also, um, it's been a little tricked out. This isn't like you'd get at the, you know, at the dealership. It's been lowered. It's a bit, and there's, 
really beautiful wheels on it. Um, and I, I sent one of these to a friend of mine and then I, I got, I got a little feeling of missing out or something on the, uh, on owning it. <laughs> it's weird what you'll, what you'll rationalize for 99 cents. Um, but looking at this just out of the, out of the pack, the wheels are gorgeous. Um, that's the kind of thing I would love to see on more cars, uh, in the main line, honestly. Um, they did, you know, finish the back, although the front is, you know, semi unfinished. Um, there's no, you know, they could have, could have slapped a couple water slides on there, man. It wouldn't have killed ya. I do like in the back how the metal is slightly warped so that it looks like there are tarp supports under that. Though, would it still look that kind of uh, sparkly candy finish um, if it were a tarp top? I'm, I'm, I'm digging for reasons to dislike the main lines. What can I tell you? Shocker. It's a, well, it's not a 40, it's a 2016 GT race. Um, I love this body style. And <laughs> I do have a couple of these. I'll probably cut this out and put it up on the wall. So that's why I'm just saving out. But there's some childproof cardboard going on here. Okay. To the side. Um, this one's kind of got a lot going on. You know, you've got the exposed engine area with the uh, smoke glass over it. That's really nice. Um, the whole thing is sort of dark glassed, uh, which I like. And you've got the Borla decal work all over it. Really neat. Um, this is <laughs> this is a returning topic, and I, and I don't know why. It's the crescendo. And, um, I, I just, I don't know, I like it, you know, I want, gee, I wonder why it looks like a combination, if you will, of the GT40 <laughs> and maybe, I don't know, the Corvette. to open these um, and uh, sometimes they're more satisfying to watch me tear into than others yeah it's kind of the lottery of tuning in um, out of the box out of the blister if you will I am seeing a tremendous resemblance don't you and I guess that's exactly of course why I picked it up um, it's a mid rear, and I like, I like a mid rear. Oh. <laughs> um, and the 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 blue and yellow, that's that's kind of sharp. Um, it's very eye eye shocking, eye catching, whatever you want to call it. Like, it startles you. This is a Civic Si. Um, not going to talk too much about it because there's not too much to say. Other than I really liked the color a lot. Um, it's sort of a, um, almost a sky blue versus, pardon me, versus the really deep rich blue of the GMC, the sort of iridescent, um, you, you get a little better idea with that next to it, but um, I really need to come up with a more neutral background for when I do this, but I just, I really do like my red velvet. What can I tell you? 
Um, but anyway, neat Civic. I used to drive a Civic. And so without the, without the sunroof and the spoiler and the, you know, the head. <laughs> well, that's not the car I drove at all. Let's just call a spade a spade. I never drove one like that. Um, uh, the Oldsmobile with delivery, the, the, the 442 with the golf livery on it. Um, these, these really look good. They, um, with those, uh, bronze, the, the, you know, the gold bronze wheels, um, I am developing quite a, uh, quite a golf collection. The, uh, the Barracuda. Ooh, that snapped open nice. Did you feel that? <laughs> I felt that. Um, I love the card art. And, um, I know we're going to slightly different card art the coming year and stuff. But I have enjoyed that card art considerably. Um, this is really pretty. It's just gorgeous. Stop using that word all the time, Cameron, I guess. But, um, neat car. And I can't have enough in green, I guess. Because it's my one of my wife's favorite colors. <laughs> in fact... Expect this Oldsmobile to absolutely disappear from Cameron's collection once wife gets a hold of it. Um, <clears throat> she wanted to see my Mysterio figure and now it's gone. Um, the Land Cruiser 80, this is the one that my, my nephew wanted, and so I found one for him, and while I was on that same hunt, I ended up going, you know, I love the Land Cruiser that I bought by accident for him, so maybe, maybe I'll enjoy this one too. Um... I I like the I like the feel of it. It's big. It's certainly the glossiest of glossy grays. I kind of like that. And um, you know I like the seating and such. But do do these Land Cruisers have no support work to the to the roof? Because this is all like super clear through here. Like you could see, you can see like straight through. There's no, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call him out on that, but you know, it's so accurate. And then they stop. Perhaps it's just very small struts and a molding process are not easy to accomplish. Let's talk to our metalhead friends about that. Andre, what's the deal? You don't know. I'm kidding. Maybe you do. And um, I cannot pass up a bone shaker. This is the gray moon eyes bone shaker. Um, from the time that they started making these and seeing that skull on the front, it's just, you know, it's been... And I, it reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Maximum Overdrive with, uh, I'll let you put a picture right up here. The, the truck that has the uh, Green Goblin's face on the front. Um, and I sent Andre a, 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 uh, a uh, stunt truck. It was one of those track masters. Uh, that has a really brilliant, it's a green and black paint job and it has a really brilliant uh, 
uh, skull in the front end of it. And I sent that out to him. I missed that truck. I'm gonna buy another one if I find it. Um, yeah, this has got a, a completely open top end. That's kind of cool. Um, sometimes there's a sunroof. Sometimes there's a complete top on it. This is just, this is open. Um, and again, that's it's one thing that I wouldn't notice if I were to, um, you know, buy a car and keep it in the pack. And let's open this Maisto and find out what the quality of the car and the hauler are all about. Um, taking a look at the packaging real quick. It's just black box, Maisto design, Maisto design, Maisto flatbed, 20, 2019 Ford GT Heritage Edition. These are not taped shut, are they? Nope. Okay. Opening it up, you've got a fairly uh, interesting clamshell design that does keep this whole thing together. There is a plastic runner underneath the, okay, there's a plastic runner underneath the, um, the, the car, which keeps it in place during shipping and all that. Which I guess is, is nice. The uh, initial feel of the truck itself is, um, it's a very light piece, okay? Um, that is metal. And um, the hauler itself, the, the, the bed slides back and forwards, which is kind of nice because that's the way it drops the car. That's uh, that's really cool. It's not a stationary piece. Um, so good on them for that. I, you know, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you props. Um, very little detail on the bottom of the hauler, but that's okay. You're not gonna be looking at that very often, if any. Um, and I, I do like the, the detailing on the windshield. There's a little set of windshield wipers molded in there. Um, the front of the truck, they did all the decal work. There's all the water slides are, are on the, um, on the headlights, excuse me. Um, the, uh, radiator is painted in separately. Uh, and the, uh, the headlights, uh, the bottom lights are just blacked in with paint, but, um, all the decal work looks really straight and really nice. Okay. Moving on to the car. Um, I, I got, uh, you know, I have a, another GT body here. Um, not quite the same. Looking at all of the detail in terms of, you know, doing their thing, um, that is a sharp car. Um, no detail on the bottom of this car, uh, which again, uh, you know, this is how you're going to be. I would imagine, you know, you're gonna display it some way like this. That That's obviously the way I will. Um, I'm gonna say that uh, for $8, that is a absolute value. That's a fantastic set. Um, I I have not really known what to say about Maisto's stuff because I've really never had any of it in front of me like this before. Um, but um, bravo, 
and this is going to be a um, this is going to be a central piece somewhere. <laughs> wow, I am super happy I purchased that. Um, let me give you all a flyby without my talking about this anymore. But um, yeah, I I would say moving forward that if you are out there and you see the um oops, let me turn this the right way this is the 164 maestro design uh transport uh this one's in the the golf livery but they they make lots of different ones i've kind of scanned over them with with my, uh, with my camera when I see them out there in the wild. And given the price point and the value that I see in this, I am going to be looking at a lot of their other products much, much, much more closely. Um, because I, I love seeing competition. And if you're going to get those water slides on there and you're gonna go that extra mile, I don't mind if maybe the die cast isn't quite as heavy or whatever. Um, but that's actually some really good stuff. That is a cool, cool car. Good stuff like this can only encourage the companies that we do like already to make a better product. One thing I would like to say about this that is a possible negative is the frailty of the back system this this will easily it's made of plastic and it will snap right out of the little track housing that it's in on the body of the truck that may be one minor detail point that you know makes you want to stick to the eight years and up uh age restriction on the or age suggestion on this uh, piece of die cast. Um, otherwise, I think it's really a fantastic piece and um, I'm gonna be really happy with it uh, here in, my, in, in the lab. I was right in the middle of finishing this up. Right there. Okay. Well, folks, if you like what you see, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and uh, if it uh, makes you happy, please leave a comment. If it makes you unhappy, please leave a comment. We're interested in what you think. We care. Thank you very much for coming out to the Monkey Shine Lab. We'll see you next time. Thanks.